Here we go. Hey, Tony. Oh, I don't know if I printed enough minutes for you guys to sign. I don't think I did. Give them that. Okay. Okay. All right, I've got nine o'clock. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first thing on the agenda, approval of previous meeting minutes from December 7th. Did everybody get a chance to look at those? Yes. Everything look okay? Any questions? Yeah. Motion so to approve moved. from Chester. Do I have a second? Second. Second from Barry. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes. Uh, first up on the site plan review is 840 East Shore. And we have Al Eisenhower here in person um, representing the builder, or I'm sorry, representing the owner. He is the builder. Uh, it's for a new accessory structure on the property. Um, so we'll just go through our checklist here. And it looks like the existing buildings are shown on the plan. The new building or addition is indicated with diagonal lines. It's a 30 by 24 garage. Um, the old garage there, you can see there's a little bit of overlap with where it was. It's uh, 12 feet from the north property line. Uh, looks like 140 from the street. Uh, 68 from the house, which is also then set back from the lake, and then 30 feet from the south property line. Um, so I kind of skipped ahead there to, yeah, that's the next one, lot lines, setbacks. Any, any questions on the setbacks? I think those look right. Setbacks. Does the garage look here? I don't see as far as what it be on the rear yard. Yeah. Uh, so on the lake rear yard to the street is 140, right? You with me, Baron? Yeah. Sorry, yeah, yeah. Neither, neither one had the addresses on. Okay. So 12 feet from the north, 30 okay. from the south, 140 from the street. Okay. Yep. That looks a lot better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, principal building height. I think it's on one of the sheets. 12 feet to the top of the to the top of the roof. Oh, I'm sorry. That's our question's principal, but there's no principal on this. We're just doing the accessory, so that's down to the next one. Can't exceed 16, and it's at 12, so we're good. Um. No front yard accessory structure being requested in this one. Uh, minimum square footage requirements met. It's just that it's smaller than the house, and that's the case. Um, required parking spaces. Uh, there, is it a two car or one car garage? Um, like two and a half. Two and a half. Okay. So between the driveway and that, you're more than covered with the. Uh, two parking spots. Um, Stormwater drainage plan. Uh, I know it's not required by the county on this. Are there any concerns um, for the long term drainage on the on the property first? I don't think so with the distance we're back from the lake. Um, anything that comes there is going to have time to dissipate before it moves to the uh, property line that's yeah. an increase yeah it's got the concrete fence on the one side or concrete divide or whatever you call it so no i don't have any concerns about that okay uh meets lot frontage and lot width requirements it's 64 feet at the street uh wider at the lake and uh Front of the building, but I don't see that number on here. 
which I believe. Gosh, I mean, it's 64 plus 35. Oh, plus the 35. You're right. There you go. So what we got a uh, 99. 99 at the house and at the lake. Which that would meet um, our requirements. Structures and parking are at proper setbacks from residential districts. Um, this is all residential here, so not an issue. Um, same with the next question. All supplementary regulations. Uh, I didn't have any other supplementary ones. Did anybody else have any um, questions or concerns on supplementary regulations for this one? No, I mean, I think we've got the, the drainage was a big issue. I mean, is an issue that, to address. And other than that, we've got the distances and pretty straightforward. Yeah. Any erosion? No. That's that's my question, and we're that's a couple down. We'll get to that one. But, yeah. uh, erosion control measures, Chuck. Do you have during construction? Just hit that. I know that you said there's a concrete fence on the north side, right? right. So I don't know. Um, we're quite a distance from the lake, but we obviously want to make sure we don't have any sediment down to the lake. Right. Um, um, and it, it does slope from there down, so we just want to make sure that we got dirt construction, got something built there to stop any erosion. We're about 776 feet right there at the site, um, 774 at the house, and it goes down to the lake, Yeah. So. so we put up a barrier at the edge of the gravel. Just before the, the house. Yeah, just a cell fence. Cell fence. Between the, the garage and the lake. Right. Yeah. Okay. And that it's where the gravel, it's just over the dirt where the gravel is. It's not a problem. Okay. Because that is what it is. Um, we don't have any signage issues. And then the, the last one, the only real concern I had on it was uh, impervious surface, which just kind of eyeballing it and we were talking before the meeting started here. Uh, it certainly looks like it'll pa <clears throat> pass, but we don't have those numbers on here. Um, and I, I think I'll offer to either meet with Chuck or go out himself and submit those later today uh, or as soon as he could. Um, again, I, I think it looks OK. So me personally, I feel comfortable uh, if we would want to move forward with it and have him just get those, you know, I'd in the motion. If we vote to approve it, you know, have yeah. Chuck research that and, and confirm it for us. But um, we've got the lot size, we've got the garage size and the house size, but the driveway, patio and steps aren't on here. So we just okay. asked them to get those numbers, get them back to Chuck and confirm that it's under 50 percent, which, yeah. like I said, visually, I think um, and I could pull it up if you guys haven't had a chance yeah. to look at it. Chester, have you had a chance to look at the lot? No. Okay. No, here, I'll pull it up. Now. I'll pull it up and share here if I can figure it out. Yeah. I mean, I don't think it's going to be an issue. Yeah. I don't either. Just, for, just so we have it on the record. record. Yeah. Okay. Oops. Not breakout rooms. Work off of Ethan if you want to. Okay. Oh. All right, can you see that now, Chester? Oh yeah. Okay, so <coughs> here's here's the driveway coming in. Mm -hmm. This spot here is the existing garage, which it'll be a little bigger than kind of in this area. Uh, yeah. Here's the house, back patio, and I think some steps that come down to the lake here. But you can see there's a lot of green space here. I, I think yeah. we're going to be fine, but we'll we'll have uh, Chuck confirm those numbers with them. Yeah, fine. All right. Oops. Yeah, just a, as a quick snapshot, it looks okay. Yep. Um, plenty of room. 
it's outside of town limits, so we don't have a requirement on sidewalk or um, street trees or anything like that. So that's really our checklist on this one. Uh, and I'll kind of go around, I guess, here. And if, see if anybody has any questions, I'll start with Barry. Uh, none. I didn't show any additional fences or anything like that. So that's not an issue either. Yep, and in the packet included, there were pictures of the previous garage. Um, gave you an idea of what the layout looked like there. Uh, Chuck, did you have any questions? No questions. Uh, Chester, do you have any questions for him? No. Okay, neither do I. So um, I would entertain a motion if someone wants to make it to approve the site plan uh, conditioned upon uh, those impervious surface numbers being given to chuck and passing inspection i'll make that motion and barry made the motion do we have a second second chester second any further discussion on this one all right not hearing any all those in favor please signify by saying aye aye, aye. 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 any opposed all right uh passes four zero and you, you've got Chuck's contact information. Yeah. Yep. Just if you yeah. get those measurements Just to him. Me on speed dial. <laughs> That's what we used to say, right? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. <laughs> kind of the, the process from here. Uh, I'll try and get minutes done today. Uh, type them up and get them to the county plan and building department. And then it'll be getting those numbers to Chuck and they can push the permit through. When do you want to get started? How soon do you want? Um, we're going to try and get the concrete going after first year. Okay. Right, right after that. So we'll get it for you next week. It's not okay. Time. All right. I'll try and get, I may get there today, but we're trying to get you those numbers in the next couple of days. Sure. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. Have Thank a you good know. day. No. Okay, what's next? <clears throat> Hold on, I'm writing my notes down. Give me a second. Okay. <laughs> kind of pushy, Chester. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear them, Chester. They're giving you a lot of flack here. Good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, up next is 2520 East Shore, which is a patio replacement, and Tony Sellers is here to represent um, the owner. Tony's the builder on this one. And uh, he had submitted two plans for reference. I think one was kind of the current layout, and then the second showed what they'd like to do there. Um, and it is just patio. Uh, so they were removing the concrete um, and some landscaping uh, towards the lake side on this one and wanting to replace. Uh, and I guess they were redoing the seawall too, it looks like, with a new patio. Um, so that's what we'll be looking at on this one. Anything else you wanted to add to it, Tony? Uh, yeah, basically just uh, replacing everything from the concrete in front of the house there to the lake. Um, and then there's also a fence going up, a fence on the around the perimeter there. It's like 30 inches tall, just... Um, for his dog, it's an aluminum fence. Uh, you know, it's uh, definitely the 50% open. Um, so that's the only other thing that you didn't mention there. So, so where is the fence? Uh, if you're looking at the site plan, um, the one that the the revised site plan, it should show. It should say 30 inch fence. It should point it out. It basically, just goes from the lakefront. Down to down to two side property lines, and then across to the house on the on the uh, one side. Basically, there was an there was a fence there before, um, so they were just replacing it. Do you have a plan of that, Jonathan? You can put up on the. So I I see. Go ahead, Justin. <laughs> yeah, I think so. All right. One question, Tony. I see it marked on the north and south end of the property line. Yes. I don't. Is, I, I'm not seeing where it runs across the property. Is that 
the line does, between does, kind of the green and the. It does not go across the front the property. Um, it's strictly just down the sides towards the boulder oh, okay. walls there. So. Gotcha. Okay. The only place it comes across is it ties back to the house with a gate on the uh, beyond the north side, the north corner there of the house, north uh, west corner it says three foot gate. Um, at least my plan does if I shared the right one with you guys. Um, oh, I see the gate. Yeah. OK, let me pull that up here. Chester. Is that just Tony? Did you hear that question? Is the gate itself 50% visible or is it 30 inches yes. high? Yes, it is not a solid gate. Is that just a replacement of the seawall? Tony? Yeah, the, it's just a uh, boulder, basically the reef, you know, it's just uh, we're just putting boulders in front of the seawall, which does not require a permit. Um, oh. just a uh, glacial stone boulders coming up over the seawall. Oh. We're not doing anything with the existing seawall as far as renovations, concrete. Okay. We're not touching that. The the boulders won't be in the boulders won't be in the lake. They'll be uh, off the out of out of the water. They are they are in the lake. So they come up. The boulders come up and basically cover the front of the seawall, which is what. Um, you know what the DNR wants and then but they are coming up so it comes back up the wall and and then once it gets up over the seawall it's actually um, comes up another two or three foot to basically that's where it, it creates a retaining wall so if you're looking at the plan there's kind of a line there that dotted the dotted line or the property line is roughly where the existing concrete seawall is so everything in front of that would be the boulders basically in the water um, up to the seawall and uh and then uh, then well, it so comes you're up taking the boulders out of the water no um I'm trying to basically uh we're just so there was a just a bulkhead concrete seawall before there was no uh -huh. there was no boulders in front of it so we yeah. added the boulders in front of the wall to face the wall basically and then we started st then on then on where it shows like the retaining wall we basically his existing yard. So on the old plan um, that shows the concrete and there's a wall behind it with steps going down. So basically all we did was take that grade of his yard and on the south end of the property, basically bring it out towards the water so he has a bigger lawn space. Um, so that's why we had to build up higher than the seawall to match the existing grade. I don't know, John, am I capable of sharing photos? Um, <laughs> Yeah, you should be able to, Tony. I, I'm opening up the attachment that you uh, put with the permit right now. I can share that in just a second here. Okay. But yeah, if you've got photos um, that would That'll be help. helpful, you're, yeah. I'm just curious. What did the DNR say they wanted the boulders moved up or what? So basically, we are, you can do a, so they want, as far as the concrete seawalls, they want, the field that they call glacial stone. They want the boulders in front of the seawalls to help break up the water, minimize oh. erosion. So that does yeah. not require a permit to do that. Oh yeah. Like, yeah. So that's there's nothing you do it all the time basically. Um, oh. But then uh, then what? So then um, so basically we're taking it higher than the seawall to match the existing grade. And basically basically we're getting rid of all that concrete on the lakefront um, and building up, you know, and and moving the yard out. So basically you could almost walk out to the edge of the water, but you'll be standing up a, a couple feet and then um, then replacing the other section with the patio. Um, uh, so basically getting rid of that walkway and, and concrete and, and I believe about probably it'll be about half the, basically it'll pretty much be about half that in the end um, of the concrete along the lakefront. You, do you have something you can put up on the screen, Jonathan? Well, tell me, do you, do you have photos you want to show first? I do have the side. If you want me to share that, but yeah, let me. Uh, the so. top right corner, the yeah, square with the arrow pointing up is the share. Do you see it? Yep. Okay. So. 
Actually, right here oh. is probably the best. Oh, here so this is. So so this gives you an idea. Um, <clears throat> oh. Fancy. Can you see that okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So basically, this part here in front, um, where the uh, where you see these rocks, this is this is covering. It's not square like that, but that's the best I can do. Um, but this is covering the existing existing concrete seawall. So there was a so 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 there's concrete behind that, and then what we did is then on top of the seawall, we're actually building the stones up about. I think it was about three feet. Um, so that way, originally the lawn was all, you know, there was a big patio out here, lakeside, with steps going down to it. So we're basically, we, we eliminated all that concrete, and we are um, in the sidewalk, and basically just taking, he wanted a bigger yard area. So basically um, creating a big, a nice lawn out here, and it just comes out further to the lake. Uh-huh. So, and then... Uh, I don't know and if I the stairs come down, is that the patio area then? Yes. Uh, this here? Yeah. Yes. This That's is a stepping stone path. Gets... Yeah, down to the to the patio. Mm -hmm. um, originally, the steps came down through the center of the property and down with a with a uh, concrete brick sidewalk. Uh -huh. uh, Tony, how does that this... affect the impervious surface at all? Less. So um, one thing I sent him, Chester, was that uh, there is a, a section, and I can pull up that email here in a minute, but in our ordinance where it basically says, you know, this this lot is non-conforming. I mean, it's already over 50 percent, but I, I think we can't allow an alteration like this where he's reducing the impervious surface. And that is what's happening here on the two different site plans he sent. Um, let see. Uh, prior to this work, he showed it at 78%, and this would bring it down to 71.6. So the previous concrete along the lake was uh, a larger square footage than what this plant is. I see. So they, yeah, they removed quite a bit and uh, putting this back and actually reducing the impervious surface. So although it doesn't comply with the 50% standard, it is improving the amount of nonconformity or decreasing it. So. Um, Here's a photo of the original. This is what it originally looked like. I don't know if. It, yeah. I'm just, so it gives no. you an idea. Yep. Oh. Um, you want to go to questions? Did you have a question, Chuck? Yeah, Tony. Um, I assume that you're going to be dry stacking the stones uh, at the seawall or at the for the seawall, and yes. then you're going to be mortaring in. The stones on the wall next to the no. yard. No, it was all. This is all dry stack stone. Um, oh, perfect. All that. The old concrete walls was were tore out. That was all ripped out. The the concrete patios. Um, the uh, it was all jackhammered up, and um, so basically, um, so this was all. This is all stacked stone. There is no more solid mortar concrete walls. Okay. Good. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. Did you have any questions, Barry? Um, this is just the landscaping all we're looking at as far as what it's given. Um, I'm just clarifying. It, I, I think they had applied for an accessory structure permit for the patio portion that's in that corner. Okay. So the, the field stone stuff, like Tony said, they can pull that out, the concrete out, and replace that with field stone, and they don't need a permit for that. That's right. just something you right. can do. Right. But uh, the patio and steps, I think, I, when I look at it, I, I think that's an accessory structure that does require a permit that that's what we should be reviewing, essentially. I mean, that sidewalk that he's putting across there to the patio, um, increasing or that? Well, since this does not meet the impervious surface requirements, <clears throat> would this require a uh, variance from the BZA? Um, I, I mean, I think we can discuss that, but again, uh, the the section that I sent, and I think I copied you on that, didn't I, Chuck? Yes, you did. Um, can you pull it up? But basically it says, I think on page 155, somewhere in that area, on non-conforming lots, 
that they can make alterations that decrease the nonconformity. And that's that's what's happening. Oh, OK. Yes. <clears throat> OK, good. Um, my, my question that I have is uh, kind of following the, the 10 foot setback, a portion of this um, patio and steps looks like to me it's it's in that setback and i know we allow you know one accessory structure in the front yard area to exceed the thank you chuck's got it here i'll go back to that yeah the language is uh no such non-conforming structure may be enlarged or altered in any way uh which increases its non-conformity but any structure or portion thereof may be altered to decrease its non-conformity so that to me I think that means that I think we're okay to. No, that's yeah. it's not written to any specific. It just okay. any structure is what it says. Um, my my concern is having the steps and the the finished patio portion of it in that setback. I I feel like that part should be out of the side yard setback. Um, I, I don't know, and I, I would kind of defer to some of the other members on past precedent. I guess the example, we don't do a lot of these um, that are in the front yard, and I'm trying to think. I, I know there's been a couple boat sheds in the last few years, and I think they were put close to property lines, but I'm thinking they did get a variance on those. I don't know. I can think of sure that's within that. Okay. Because I think the the front yard allowance is for it to be closer to the lake, not necessarily to the side yard. I don't know if anyone has any thoughts on. Oh, I agree 100%. I, I think just going to the property line idea that it's actually putting the complete structure right to the property line, I think it would have to require a variance. I mean, even if it was only a 30 inch whatever wall, you know, or whatever they put, it would still have to go through the variance. So, yeah, I'm, which wall were you talking about? I'm not talking about the wall, I'm talking about the patio. I'm not talking about putting the patio here and it's going away the property line. And I don't know if this is part of it all the way to this property line as well. Yeah, <laughs> and I guess I would, uh, the, Again, with the, the field stone, that's our glacial stone. It's not a structure. So I don't have an issue with that being to the property line. It's the patio and steps that are the concern. Oh, so that's all. <laughs> so that, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Tony, could you go back to the one you were showing before? The 3D rendering or? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think so. <laughs> Oops. There, oh, I did it now. Here we go. Can you see that? We're still on the picture. Oh. Yeah. Um, so it says hide share options. Okay, share content. Here we go. How's that? Yeah, I think it's coming. Yep, there it is. Thank okay. you. So yeah, uh, kind of looking at it, guys. The, yeah. the field stone stuff I don't have an issue with. It's it's this and the the steps that are the concern. So if the setback line is somewhere around here, you know, right. that that's my concern is these and kind of the corner of this. It's gonna be around the property line. Yeah. Tony, is there any way to shift those steps ten feet off the property line? Would be a major change. Um, the uh, I mean, it could possibly be worked in over here. Um, yeah. And then. Uh, 
you know, obviously the, the big issues, as we discussed before, is so this is. Uh, the grass is down. Um, so that would depend on what you guys decide. <laughs> um, I mean, so part of it also kind of depends on the uh, patio itself, the materials. Uh, uh -huh. If it's, you know, like poured concrete, that's a structure. But if they're stones that aren't permanent, that can be moved. Um, there, it's a, a, it's a patterned blue stone, basically. So it's just got polymeric joint sand. It's not like it's not concrete. I mean, yeah. In other words, in other words the pieces could be tore up and reused. Yeah, and that's kind of where I am too. I don't know if you heard Chuck, but I'm I'm less concerned about the stone. It's the steps. I feel like we've always looked at those as a structure yeah. that uh -huh. needs to be out of the setback. Are those going to be out of concrete, Tony? No, the steps are just they're just stone step treads. They're each individual. Those could be pulled up too. Yeah. Okay. They're not a solid they basically they're not a solid uh they're not solid um you know, it's not all one piece. It's just stacked stone yeah. with gravel yeah. underneath them as a base. There's no concrete anywhere used in this uh situation. Okay. Sand joints in between. Uh, right. Say, Chester, could you hear Chuck there? Uh, not too well. Okay. I'm looking at the steps. They're going to be stone. They're movable, can be changed or replaced at any time. There's going to be sand joints before and after them um, that will be permeable. I'm looking at that as not the same as if it had. Uh, complete concrete all the way up it. I would look at it as being more impervious, like the lower patio level, than I would being concrete steps. Uh huh. I would say that we could let the steps in that lower patio go because of the impervious part of the the uh, surface. This is. I mean, I. Does that meet the setback requirements then? Or? It, it really comes down to whether or not you consider the steps in that portion of the patio a structure, really, is what we're getting down oh, to. Okay. Which, How much more impervious? The, the impervious thing I don't think is an issue because, like I said, I mean, the, the line in there basically says if they're decreasing it, yeah. that's acceptable. And that's so those happened. steps will be basically like that upper wall. It'll just be stacked stone. Yes, yeah. except they're. Yeah, except they're, uh, you know, they're uh, they're basically just blue stone. They're natural stone step treads. Um, so similar to the boulders, um, you know, they're just flatter, basically. Yeah, they're not concreted together or. No, there's nothing. I mean, there's I'll nothing. Just, it's just nothing. stacked stone. Yes, they're just completely stacked. There's nothing tying them together outside of weight. Yeah. Um, to be honest, it's like, the same as the wall that we're seeing to the right in the picture. Yes. Yeah, right. I mean, when you look at, I don't think we ever changed our definition of a structure, right? It's basically a three dimensional object made of building materials above or below grade correct so according to our definition this i think meets that definition but i'd also say that we've lost a court battle over our definition and <laughs> we haven't lost over our definition now we lost over the way it was before it was changed and what was it before before it was a non-permanent structure you could be built okay and no. now anything is Structure. We've we've lost over this one too, though, Barry. The one, the case on Academy Road. Over the transfer. over a fire pit. That was with this definition, I think. Right, wasn't with it? This yeah. Definition. Yeah. yeah. And that, I don't know. I looked I it up. We would lose over this one too, is what you're that, saying. That's my concern. <laughs> I I don't like it because the difference between these steps and concrete steps is like 
it's not a big one. I get there is one, but it's not a big one. Right. But yeah. uh, like I don't, I, I don't think it's probably under the same condition as what the other one we lost. No, but it's the same concern I have. You know, we're right on the property line in the setback. Yeah. And they were claiming that one was too close to the other property, but yeah, I don't know the actual uh, part to that argument, but. Well, and I mean, with that one, it came down to there probably are fire pits that you consider. I mean, yeah. since then, we've required permits on a couple of them, but they're permanent structures to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Versus. Right. But there's no such thing as a permanent, non permanent according to structures now. In ours. In ours. Right. And, right. And we lost on the one. Right. The first one. Because, because of that. Permanent. And that's. <laughs> well, should this be going before the BZA then for approval? <laughs> or can those stairs be moved to the to the right a little bit on the picture? I mean, I like it. I just don't know if we're going to be. I, I mean, my concern is just right. If we allow this one, anyone that comes forward exactly. and does stack I stones mean, in that setback area, we have to approve. I mean, I mean, once you've done do, it once. What we do in here does set prices. Yeah, right. What the BGA does does not set prices. So. Right, right. That's the whole difference here. I, I guess I'd. So can I ask? Sure. Go just ahead. out of curiosity in this situation, like obviously looking at what this was before, you know, was obviously this was a solid concrete patio clear across the lakefront. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it was obviously it was prior to rules, I assume. Yeah, right. Uh, but, uh, but you know, if it was if it was left alone, you know, it run it ran all the way across the property um right. you know the concrete was basically property line to property line um yep so the main of purpose of the homeowner the reason that they what they were after is they had a small lawn and they were trying to trying to increase their usable lawn space so so the issue with obviously moving these steps you know over to here is they're going to give up more this basically turned into a nice usable area where they could play yeah. back enjoy the yard which they didn't have before. Um, and so if we if the steps come into this area, that's I know they're they're obviously they're not going to be excited about that, but um, but uh, but that's obviously up to uh, you. Guys. Could, could the stairs just be moved to the uh, well, I'm looking at the picture moved to the right, just uh, into that wall a little bit away from the property line. Will that work? Um, Yeah, the big thing would be is if the steps could be utilized, basically, um, you know, if we took them and through the wall, that would leave them the, the green space that they want and uh, and uh, meet the uh, requirements. Because the setback line basically. Yeah. right there so are right. you saying you would want those steps here yes that's my thought yeah 10 feet is is that what the uh, uh yeah that's, yeah that's yeah. what this line is that i just extended basically um according to uh sorry i'm showing there so all this is not um i need to turn this off this is kind of their their next meeting that they'll probably be discussing but um but as of right now like future edition I'm trying to set it up so it's back to the so the original site plan right now let's get this does it okay there we go so this is what they have now their existing home they have this is all concrete around this house so um oh. So their long term plan is their next meetings. Obviously, what they're hoping to do is I don't want to, you know, they'll be filing for this at some point. They're working on some things, but is is basically doing an addition on a house, but removing all of this concrete here and turning it into lawn. So all the side yard, all this concrete will go away. So the plan uh -huh. is to keep it. The plan is to keep improving the property long term. 
I'm just sharing that with you. Um, uh -huh. But uh, I was just the, the plan you were looking at wasn't right. So. So basically, so taking these steps then um, is obviously what you guys are asking me to do is take these steps, move them over here. Yeah, 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 something like that. Yeah, but straight, obviously. Um, so, um, so their new uh, their new layout requires to keep from having steps out in front of their home. You know, everything when you walk come out of the lakeside, you come this way. So, um, but obviously, so I guess it just matters is I got to see what the homeowner says. And then the next question would be, so if they want to try to keep that, is the variance an option? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's, I, I'd feel more comfortable, I think, if that's the route we went, Tony. If, if they want to keep them where they are, yeah, they could apply for a variance um, and, and put them closer to the property line. If they can move them 10 feet off, I'd feel a lot better about approving what you've got today. I mean, if if they have a long term or relatively short term, I guess, if, the, if they're planning on applying for a variance or something else in the near future, I mean, and would prefer to see the steps over there, I I guess I would kind of encourage them maybe to get that started now and, and look at that as an option. But. Can the steps be straight instead of curved? That might help a little bit, too. Yeah, if they were coming out of here. Um, I mean, they would definitely obviously it would make sense or they would could curve the other way. So basically the, you know, the actual in the end, you know, the actual route, you know, if you were walking out of the house, you would be coming like this. That's why this worked. Um, I actually kept more green space out here. Um, was the purpose so. Yeah, but like the neighbors, you know, so the neighbors have a boulder seawall here that literally, you know, it comes all the way around and they're grade. So they have a boulder seawall similar to to this here in front of their property. Then it comes all the way around back to here. So there's actually like so, you know, this, you know, that you're actually going below grade of lakeside, I guess. Um, yeah. So, you know, like. Um, so in other words, it's just and more of the variance story. may be the way to go. Then. Yeah, cause obviously to me it is because as you know, this is this is ninety percent. Uh, you know, so this stuff's in, um, and uh, so that's the problem here. That uh, obviously, if we don't have to redo it, otherwise that's going to cost me some money. Um, yeah. There, I told the homeowner that it was approved. So that's where the that's where my issue is going to be. Um, I mean, there's literally this is sodded. You know, we were trying to beat the weather. Um, originally they were just doing a seawall and uh, they had decided they they liked the way everything was looking and then turned into this so um, so that's where I'm at um, yeah well, um, under those steps just for curiosity sake did you hear the question Tony uh, no is mainly just I assume that um, obviously I feel like the variance is definitely something we want to shoot for. I don't really want to have to redo it because um, then I got an issue. I'm assuming that uh, I mean, a homeowner could basically say, you know, they don't have this. That's going to be me eating this project. Um, whatever gets changed. Barry, Barry asked what would be under those steps? Uh, just rock. It's just they're all stacked on its base. So it actually so that's the thing is all this stuff is actually creates more drainage. You know, there's there's that there's those steps are stacked up on um, on uh, limestone gravel, so we just compact it, lay the steps, then we, we we excavate, put gravel in for the next step tread, so it steps up. So you know a lot of this stuff, like not only this is impermeable, but when you look at what's underneath, like even the patio and stuff, you know there's there's nine inches of of, of drainage stone underneath there. So any like it's going to help, like groundwater can actually you know be pulled out into here you know um help keep things dry i guess but um but anyways uh i don't I, I don't have a concern about the impervious surface mine's just whether or not the steps are a structure and you know if, if they meet our definition of a structure 
I, I feel like they should be 10 feet off the property line, but. Um, That's my biggest issue too. Yeah. I'm just curious. Would it help? Would it help any of us to see it in person? Um, I May mean, I can show you a picture? If you want to see what it looks like now? Sure. Because um, I think I think Tony had talked to Chuck, and um, I think we had kind of given him the okay to do all the seawall stuff and the patio stuff, thinking that a lot of it's not considered a structure. So I do feel like if if we've kind of given Tony, a green light, that makes a difference to me too. Um, if there had been a conversation and we thought this was going to be okay, I don't know, yeah. is that fair, Chuck? Yeah, that's a, that's a fair assessment of okay. what's happened, yes. Yeah, it's kind of where I'm at, obviously, is um, with this, but um, see, oh, here we go. Now I gotta share. I gotta switch screens. I think, right? Yeah, I don't know. Zoom. <laughs> right. uh, Everyone's different. So uh, here we go. Can you see that? I think it's coming. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So this is the finished product with the steps. Um, you can see the neighbors over here. Uh, oh. So, so kind of standing where the person taking the picture is, what goes around those steps then? That's like a gravel? Like, uh, you mean like here? Uh, the, the yeah, down at the bottom of the picture. Uh, here? Yeah, right down there. So this is just be filled with topsoil and plantings. These are planting oh, okay. areas around here. So this will be the the stone will be cleaned up basically, and then um, any excess stone usually will get either pulled out or um, and then this will all be added topsoil. This here along the lakefront will probably had some more small stones in here just to fill this gap, um, and then uh, and then there's actually another can't really see it. So this is a landscape bed on the end here. So okay. this is room for plantings. Oh, so um, the stairs are already there, huh? Yeah, that's yes. that's what I was saying. Is I think um, he had talked. It to looks Chuck. like looks like it's part of the stone wall. Doesn't even look any different than. Right. So that's my true issue. Is um, I go through the process. Um, I did. Yeah. Um, did have a meeting and we thought it was going to be okay. So this is this this place. It's actually you know as you can see in the next picture. I mean it's you know the there's another picture I guess looking from the other side. Um, and then, so as of right now, you know, this is all, you know, the sods in irrigations back together, you know, this, this project's 90% done. Um, so that's where I'm at right now. If I have to redo this, I have to come in here and tear all this back up. Um, yeah. that's my situation. So. Because of the where it is, because of grade and everything, it actually, I don't know. I don't, yeah, I, I, I don't want to consider it a structure. But I, I think <laughs> I live with it on this one, but I think we probably need to. Right there. Those, yeah. The yeah. stairs look like they're concrete, but they're stone. Yeah, they're stone. Uh, oh. So they're uh, they're natural stone, just like the, um, you know, they're one piece. So these are oh, four yeah. by. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See the joints. Oh, I see it better, yeah. Yeah, so we hey, put great one in photograph picture. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> Me too, Barry. I, Going I back know. to the definitions, you consider that patio a structure? Do I consider the patio a structure? Yes. I wouldn't at this time because of the, the height. It's not it doesn't have any height to it, and it's uh, permeable. Because it just looks to me that if the steps are the issue, you, the first 10 feet, all that needs to leave, not just the steps. Yeah, that was that was my original yeah, thought too, Bob. We've we on some of these patios, right? It is like it's a fine line between whether or not it's a structure. Me personally, um, I do not consider a dry stack step a structure, but I'm yeah, not the rule I, maker, so. 
I think that's where we're getting on this one, Bob, but I I still don't feel great about it, but. <laughs> but we probably should have some discussion among yeah. ourselves going forward. Yeah. Okay. I, and it's and it's honestly uh, seeing these pictures is helpful, Tony. I, I think this fits in fine. I don't have an issue with it, but I was thinking of like, wasn't it the one? Um, was it Russ's old house uh, at the end of the street where the steps coming off the side of the house were <laughs> were a concern with the neighbor, where it was right. pretty tight. And like I could just see, honestly, my biggest worry is a future case like that. Someone just saying, "Oh, well, I'm going to put stack stone there. It's not a structure." And then I'm thinking, uh, you know, is that what we want to happen or not? But, but, it, by, that, but by, that, I'm sorry. Good. by that definition, the, the whole end of the patio should leave if you're calling that. I, uh, I agree. Bob. I think you're right. I, they look the same thing. So if, if I, one goes, I, yeah. I mean, if I was a voting person, I'd say those steps do not consider a structure. But I think you are last time I checked. I know. So <laughs> okay. I'm, just, I'm just saying, if if we're going to consider that a structure, what's the definition of the patio? Is that a structure? You got to take off the first ten feet of that. Right. Well, the truth is, ninety percent of the the reason for that rule is visibility. Wouldn't you agree? I mean, it doesn't really uh, matter so, so. whether you're ten feet or twenty feet or five feet or two feet from the property line. You can't block somebody's view of the lake that just spent all this money building a house so they could sit and enjoy the lake view. True. The, the yeah. problem the problem is though like the definition definition of a structure impacts so many things we do so like like this project if none of this is a structure tony you don't really have to get a permit for it but we do have authority over the impervious surface percentage so one of the concerns we have is that someone would come in and just cover their yard with an entire you know stone patio that's not a structure and right. pretty soon they're at 100 percent impervious surface which i mean if it's something that ridiculous obviously we would catch it and do something about it but right. it's we yeah if there's yeah, no, if there's i understand no that it's I think, harder for us to keep an eye on right no, i think that either way if, whether you consider structure it requires a permit i still think that's fair it just comes into saying you know it's just like saying sometimes you allow people to i mean i mean it gets allowed for people to build within the setback line that's a 10 times worse situation this but it happens yeah. they're trying to get obviously making people understand why basically i just like i get hit up on this stuff and they're like well why is that you know so i try to explain to them you know it's kind of like when you know when i was dealing with rust before just like a fire pit in reality if the fire pit was down here in front at the lake sitting down below the ground you know is it you know then a lot of times it you know like um you know just be yeah that's good go ahead you know kind of basically what chuck did um you know assuming that everything where they look we just missed this piece of it yeah uh, so well no i mean i think it's just a fair discussion is that some right. of us look at it and think it's a structure and some of us don't and we, you right. try to write a broad definition of structure but then you know you get down to the nitty-gritty and it's you're going to have disagreements sometimes on it so this is why wording changes right as we yes <laughs> so, I, I mean i get it i'm not arguing I, i'm just yep no i appreciate it um I, I being just a accessory structure i'm just going to kind of glance through the checklist is there anything else we need to look at uh what's the square footage on and i think it's on here the actual square footage of the new patio uh, it's, uh 226, right one 180 plus the uh i think i have the steps on there 180 plus i think it's like 48 so yeah like 220 something 225 or 228 um and it's a grade it's not over 30 inches in height um is there anything else we need to look at i still got a question about the gate sure That's the only thing i've got go ahead bear that gate that you've got uh on the north side that's on the that gate is it uh 50% visibility through that because it is perpendicular with the house. Can Did, the yes. Down? Yes, it will not be a solid gate. It'll match the fence. Okay. Um, okay. So I think the. Uh, I, I don't want well, to actually. Go. There might be a uh, copy of the. So this is a 
site pr prior. Um, trying to see if there's a picture. So basically, this is the the fence right here. We're basically just replacing that. This was like a one of those fences that you. It's like a Lowe's thing where you just put in a. It's like a piece together to keep their dog in thing. Um, yeah. But it'll be similar style to this. Um, and it's thirty inches in height, Tony. Is that what you said? Yeah, it's only thirty inches in height. It's just enough to keep their dog from going over the, out of the neighbor's yard. So. Um, it's a. Uh, it's kind of a. Uh, it's a little different, but. Um, but that's all they wanted. So. You actually closes even with the property line. Parallel, uh, parallel to the street, or yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out here. Yeah, right. The gate. The dog out of the neighbor's yard. So I'm just trying to. Which direction does the gate actually run? Then the the fence is on the side yard, and then I assume that this is perpendicular to it. Gate, the gate, north and south, or east and west. The gate is uh, north and south, so it ties back to the corner of the house. Okay, so it would be perpendicular right now. Yeah. Okay. Right. And you say it is like visibility, so it's mm -hmm. not an issue. Yep. So as of right now, you can kind of see like there is a. Uh, um, I maybe can't see. You can. There's fencing over here. There's like a privacy fence along the neighbor's um, fence over here. Which really has nothing to do with anything today, I guess. Um, I don't have any good pictures of that side of the property for some reason. No, bondage. You can see it was that black fence, right, Tony? Yeah, it's definitely the fence style is definitely that's their fence. This is the neighbor's fence over here, but that's on the south side of the house. So this is the south side of the home looking at the lake. Um, you can see they have a lot of concrete. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm good with that. Okay. Uh, we'll go to Chuck. Chuck, did you have any other questions? No, I do not. Chester, do you have any questions on this one? No, no. Bob Porter? One more quick one. What's the definition of grade? Is those steps negative grade or positive grade from the lake? Original <clears throat> grade. Uh, do you know, Barry, the definition? I, I thought it for for the main structure I know of but uh, yeah it got grade according to the uh, original grade before the house was built because the, the, it was mentioned Russ's steps that was way up in the air blocking visibility close yeah, to the right. property line but this one's negative down in so I didn't know that's yeah, what I was saying So our, our ordinance details it well, Bob, for the main structure and how that's determined. I don't think it spells it out for an accessory down by the lake like this, but I, I think we all get your point. Yeah, the whole idea of the grade is going back to the height restrictions. That it's grade. not going to block view from the street or anything like that, right? That's where I'm at. Yep. Totally agree. Anything else from anyone? All right. Um, any discussion or does someone want to make a motion to plan for this one? Or I, I, I kind of like the idea about actually going out and looking at it. <laughs> OK. I mean, I would like to see it to work. I would think I'm really actually dealing with as far as making decision one way or the other, as far as whether we'd be responsible for setting precedent on if we're going to set it to structure or not structure. I, I think, I mean, I, I that's where I was 10 minutes ago, but looking at these pictures, I'm personally, I'm comfortable with it. Uh, again, I, I think we need further discussion on future situations and whether or not you know this is the right decision on all of them or like Bob said maybe that one that I'm thinking of was a little different because of the location that was closer to the street and, and was more of a visibility issue um, but 
so Barry's leaning towards uh, a site visit and holding off on this one. Um, I don't want to. Uh, yeah. I, I I think under what you just said, I mean, I know that I feel I feel that this is all right. I mean, I, I actually do. I'm comfortable with it, and I don't think it's ever going to be an issue brought up for saying that we're actually setting precedents on this. I'm well, hoping so. Yes. I, I think the two things we could point to as a difference would be the you know stack stone versus concrete steps and the location yeah, and I, I the think so too. location I mean, I being into the grade argument would be viable but i mean uh, yeah all right so i'll ask again i will make the motion. <laughs> we have so, a motion for barry and that is to approve the site plan sorry second from bob second right. i'll give bob the second on that one uh any further discussion on this one Okay, all those in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? It passes by zero. Oh boy. That was can fun. I one, can I ask one quick question? Um, Jonathan, how do I get can I get like can I is it possible for me to have a copy of the checklist for this review just so I yeah. um, uh I don't know if that's something online or um just helps me to make sure that future wise I know that I'll make sure that yep. we don't get into this situation. So Sure. Um, I don't think it's posted online because, right, it is just something uh, we put together for the guys, for all the TRC members to look at as we go through it. But I can, I'm happy to send it to you. Okay. That'd be great. I appreciate it. Sure thing. Um, Thanks, Tony. All right. Thank you. All right. Um, any other business for the commission today? No. Hearing none, uh, any member comments or concerns? And I'll start over here in yeah. the room with Barry. I, I'm kind of uh, curious about this uh, this uh, project got going without technical review committee's approval first. Because we didn't feel it was necessary. Yeah, I that think. Happened? Do you want to answer? <clears throat> yeah, Chester. The reason that happened because I didn't feel that it was necessary to go before the technical review committee. Oh, oh. Okay. And then um, there was some discussion afterwards about the steps and, and that sort of thing. So that's oh, what okay. happens All right. to take care of everything. Okay. Okay. It was an I understand. Uh, Barry, did you have something then for member comments or concerns? Just as far as member comment, because I know. I mean, I'm sitting in for Marty. And Not anymore. <laughs> I, uh, the question I'd have is, how is Marty doing? Sorry. Oh, actually, um, I I haven't talked to him lately, but I did hear um, from the Main Street Board he was thinking about joining that and that he was doing better. So that's good news. I think he's feeling. Better. I just thought he was a, a very high asset. Yeah, he know, to, to the town and yeah. everything he did. And I think he's doing better. Him. Hopefully, so maybe yeah, we'll see him. Yeah. Uh, around a little bit more here next year. I wouldn't question my position. <laughs> <laughs> Thought you trying hey, to get out. Tony, of how's, how's Marty doing? <laughs> Did you ask me that? Yeah. He's doing good. Great. He's uh, semi-retired, so I got a I got a new project manager working for me. He's doing a good job, yeah. Kevin. So, um, tell him I said hello. I will. I'll let him know. He's uh he's actually in Arizona right now, riding four wheelers and camping. So, oh, uh, yeah. Yep. Hey, he's still like he's still like a kid. He's still like a kid when it comes to toys. So, you know, <laughs> still believes on the role that the man with the most toys wins. So he's still trying to <laughs> keep that up. <laughs> Bob, did Chuck? you have any? Oh, go ahead, Chester. Yeah. I got, I got something for Chuck. If he's ahead. available. He's here. Yeah, Chuck. The uh, uh, did you get uh, the info from Lee on institutional zoning? Uh, yes, I did. Okay, I couldn't make that. I don't know why I couldn't get into that meeting we had the other night. Uh, that really bugged me. I thought that was good input, Chester. Thank you. Okay, we can discuss that at our next one. 
Yes, sir. Which, you know, have you set that up yet? No, we don't have a meeting set yet. Okay, all right, whenever. Hopefully I'll be get in, be able to get into the Teams thing this time. We hope so. And you've got Chuck and I's number now if you, yeah. if you have problems. Yeah. yeah. Just yeah, Lisa said everybody had their phone shut off and I couldn't get a hold of anybody. Well, I didn't have the numbers. Yeah, you didn't have my number. I thought you did. Um, <clears throat> well, thank Bob you guys. Porter. Have a Merry Christmas. Thanks, yeah. Tony. Thanks, Tony. Same to you. Guys, have a Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. <laughs> Bob, hey, hold on, Chester. Last thing, Bob, did you have anything? I do not. I'll okay. I'll give my space to Chester. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Motion to adjourn. So moved. so moved. All right. Have a good Christmas, everybody. You See ya. Too. So long. Okay, that's it.